Aloha, it's Katie and today I'm doing an updated what's on my iPhone. I can't believe the last time I did this was two years ago. It was one of the first videos I ever did. A lot has changed besides from the fact that I'm still on an iPhone 5S. Who's with me with a cracked screen? If you're not already part of our Alohana, which is what we call our family, be sure to subscribe down below. I reply to all early likers and commenters, so be sure to turn my notifications on by clicking the bell below so you can join the early squad. After you've done both, just comment down below Aloha with your message or whatever you want the Alohana to see so I know you're interested in being featured. Let's get to the good stuff. What's on this iPhone? So just to get the basics over with, I have an iPhone 5S, 16 gigabyte. I designed this case. I was lucky enough to design my own phone case collection with good vibe cases. I'm gonna leave the link down below, but the best thing about this is that I'm donating 100% of my earnings to a water.org fundraiser. And for every $25 I raise, we can give someone access to clean water. If you're wondering what is my lock screen right now, I purposely changed it <laughs> so you can see the other cases in my Aloha collection in case you wanna buy some. We'll get on with this. So on my home page, I have all my social medias just dumped here. First one is obviously Instagram, which you can follow me at Aloha KDX. And if you guys want to see an updated how I edit my Instagram photos, just let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Just look at all my feed transformations right now. I love to travel. Next, I have Google Maps because you know, why do you have Google Maps? I'm <laughs> Why do you have Google Maps? Then I have Facebook, which I'm not gonna click Snapchat. To be completely honest, during school seasons, like now I'm very low. During holiday breaks and school vacations, I am so active. I daily vlog and do a lot of fun stuff. So just add my snap code here. I know we all love doing this. Scan me right now. Yesterday, I just went to the Shawn Mendes concert. So marry me. I have Blue Lines. It was just a notepad app because I didn't like the notes app. I have Skype, barely use it. YouTube basic we are so close wait for it wait for it 50,000 subscribers it blows my mind i will definitely do a summer giveaway 50,000 whatever giveaway i am mind blown that as of the time i filmed this video we are let's test my math man 2,704 away from 50,000 I have a folder for all my editing apps. I used to scour the app store for the best apps. I'm gonna tell you now that these are my must essential apps for editing. Square Ready used to be that really in app that allowed you to add white borders. Then my holy grail, whatever you call it, ViscoCam is where I do everything. It's the best app for editing. I used to never buy anything in the app store, but this app made me buy my first filter bundle. I'm not going to get into this because if you guys want to see how I edit my Instagram photos, I can do a whole video on it. Just comment down below, thumbs up, let me know and I'll do it. You can see I plan my feed here. Photo Grid, I just like this app because it makes square collages so fast. So when you're doing birthday collages for your friends, then I have Fonda, which is a really creative app for making nice posters or adding text to photos. You can use this to make your thumbnails and they turn out bomb. If you want to see how I do that on Fonto, you can also thumbs up, comment down below. Frame Magic, it's really hard to find nice collage apps, but Frame Magic has it all. You can do it without a watermark, you can change the ratios, it's very customizable, and it's probably the best one out there. Then I have Gmail 999, fun. I have YouTube Creator Studio, which if you're a YouTuber, download it right now. It's super helpful for YouTubers who want to reply to their comments faster, upload videos. It's basically your video manager but on your phone. Twitter is my bay. I All my thoughts, struggles, rants, inspirational quotes go on here. And especially when I do Q&As, I always ask Twitter first. I have Sleep Bop, which is just a sleep tracker. It became a habit and every night before I sleep, I have to do the start sleep thing. Maybe because I feel pressured when I press that button to actually sleep. Oh, look at that. I got nine hours, 26 minutes tonight. Isn't that great? But if we look at our logs, I slept at 12, 1 a.m., 1, 17 a.m. Not the best week. I have Google Drive and Google Docs for all my school stuff. I'm a committed student and I work on the go. Except right now I'm obviously prioritizing YouTube and filming this video. I also have Dropbox for transferring stuff. I only got into iCloud now, which is one of my biggest regrets. It's on the next page, I have Pinterest for ideas. I haven't been in there much because I haven't been doing DIYs. I also have Camera Connect. It's just the app I need when I'm transferring my camera photos to my phone. Lastly, I have this Mophie space thing. I used to have a Mophie. I don't even know what's in here and I need the actual case so I don't really know why I have this app. <laughs> it's probably why it's isolated on the third page. And that's actually all that's on my phone. 16 gigabyte life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for new videos weekly. Seriously, I'm so thankful for every single one of you. Click this eye on the top right if you want to watch more videos from yours truly. Follow me on social media on your right. I'd love you to paradise and back. Bye guys, love you.